If you open up Discord and for some reason you got a message about being blocked, this video will show you how to fix it. This works for Discord, Discord PTB, and Discord Canary. First of all, you're not actually blocked from Discord. This is Cloudflare, the protector service that Discord is using to protect themselves from DDoS attacks, bots, etc. If you're getting this error, it's just for some reason flagged your Discord client as an issue, but this seems to be a pretty common bug that I'll show you how to fix here. First of all, head across to Discord.com in your browser to make sure that you're not actually blocked by Cloudflare. It's incredibly unlikely, but if you head across to discord.com and see anything like this, then congratulations, you're not blocked. If for some reason you are blocked, make sure you're disconnected from a VPN, especially a very commonly used free VPN server. When you get to discord.com, simply click download for Windows as we'll be reinstalling Discord. We'll wait for this download to finish. In the meanwhile, we'll uninstall Discord and make sure no files are saved on our PC that could cause an issue once again when we reinstall Discord. So hit start, open up your settings, navigate across to apps, then installed apps and search for Discord. If you're using anything like Canary, PTB, etc. Etc., and those are giving you the issues, simply make sure to uninstall them. For me, it's just normal Discord. So click the three dots here, choose uninstall, and wait for it to finish. Now we've technically uninstalled Discord, but the files still remain on our PC and could cause issues when we reinstall it with the file we're just downloading. What we'll do is hold start and press R, which is the flag key and R, and inside of him, we'll type in percentage, local, app, data, percentage, and hit enter. This will open up C users, your username, app data, local. This folder could be hidden for you, so click view at the very top, followed by show, and make sure file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, at the very top ribbon bar, you'll see a view tab, and on the far right, once you select it, a show hidden files and file extensions tick box, just make sure both of those are ticked. Now that we're inside of local app data, click anywhere and hit D to jump straight down to Discord. We'll select it and hit delete. If you don't see the Discord folder, don't worry, it's already been removed by uninstalling it. If you're having issues with Canary, PGB, etc., select those folders as well and delete them too. Then we'll head back to app data by clicking it up here and into the roaming folder. This will take us to C users, your username, app data, roaming. Inside of here, once again, hit D to jump down to Discord and you'll see a lowercase Discord. Discord. Simply delete this folder as well. This is where all of the cached files for your Discord are, the current login, etc. By deleting this, we'll remove the last few traces of Discord being on our PC and of course, where the issue is probably being kept if you reinstall it and you're still getting it. Now that we've deleted both the cached Discord files and the actual Discord install, head back to your browser and assuming you've already gone to discord.com to download the installer, simply open up your downloads and run the installer. Once Discord has fully reinstalled, sign in and everything should be working properly once more. If for some reason you're getting issues when using Vencord, Better Discord, etc., repeat the steps once again and don't reinstall them until this issue has passed. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!